Hey, so how are you guys doing? Um, this this question came to be because um, everybody knows I live in an apartment. At least everybody in the apartment knows I live <laughs> I live here, and uh, you know they they asked me. You know, you live in a small apartment. Where do you keep all your stuff for your horses? So this is what it looks like in my closet. Um, this is my my clothes closet. I don't really have a lot because um, the rest of it is in storage. So this is basically what I, I wear. I do a lot of laundry. But anyway, um, the biggest thing is to stay organized. And everybody knows when you live in a small apartment, you have to use all the space to its maximum. So um, I've got five bags of feed. I've got two bags of alfalfa pellet uh, cubes and beet pulp is back there. Um, I bought these off of Chewy.com and they're amazing. I had one before and um, I use it for my dog food, which is right here. And um, and it works really, really good. So I bought two more for the oats because um, the bugs, for some reason, kept on getting in. So I have this for my oats and uh, they get a scoop of this every other day. And uh, keeps the bugs out. It's nice and airtight. I love it. Absolutely love it. I had to throw away half a bag of um, oats because of some bugs that were on the package. And I brought them home and they went. And I didn't have that. So um, they kind of went into the bag and just infested the whole bag. And I just had to throw the whole thing out. So this is their feed. Same thing. I just keep it all in here. And their feed is not like your regular feed because um, it's extruded. So it kind of does, it looks a little different. It's super, super light. Looks like cereal. It smells pretty good. See, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, the horses love it. They chew it up a little bit more. It's extra crunchy, um, which is good for Jarvis because he doesn't have a lot of back teeth. So I want to make sure that he chews up his food really well. Um, and then uh, it, I just mix it in. So I have their buckets. So I usually put their buckets up here and uh, I put their rations in there. And I use my big bucket to uh, soak my alfalfa cubes in a few hours before I have to go feed them. So this is all I did. And then I just break it up. This looks awfully yellow. I don't know why it looks yellow. There we go. So this one is, it's kind of, the other one that I had, the other bag was a lot less compact, so it was easier to break up, kind of like how this one is. Um, this bag, unfortunately, is a little bit more solid, so, but I do break it up. I don't leave it just like this because it'll never soak. I mean, you'd have to soak it forever in order for this to get in. So I just turn it on the line and I break it. And I turn it there and I break it there. And this one, this one's a little different. It's uh, not quite as compact, but I'll break it in a bunch of different pieces. So at least that they're small, you know, like this. So when you put water on it, hot water, it will uh, won't take as long. But I let that and then I put them all together and I mix it all around with my, my trusty spoon that's like from the 1970s. But... It's an awesome spoon. It doesn't bend. <laughs> and then um, they get beet pulp every once in a while. But yeah, so uh, this is where all the, the massive feeding starts and stops. So use your space wisely if you live in an apartment and own two horses. <laughs> they don't like me keeping them at the pool. Something about poop. <laughs> Bye.